you guys could both answer, it's a pretty straightforward question. Just how much have you guys talked about the NCAA tournament? I mean, with every win, you guys are getting closer and closer. Something you guys have never played in. How much are you guys talking about that amongst each other? I, w I would say that's the starting point of, of every practice and every game, you know, because um, we feel like us as players and as a team, we put in so much work, and, and that's our main goal, and we feel like we have to get there this year. Go ahead, Logan. Q, we've seen you have some really good games over the last four years, but just this stretch, the last three or four weeks that you've had, is this kind of the most consistent that you've played over your career? Um, yeah, I think so. Just being able to get in that position, my teammates um, doing a great job of getting me open shots and finding me when I'm open. So I credit all that to them, and we're just going to try to keep winning games. Has there been a difference in your mentality or you know how aggressive you choose to be, or is this just happening as a result of hard work over the course of four years? Um, yeah, I think it's just hard work. I mean, I come in every day. Try to get up at least 250, 300 shots a day. So I think it's just paying off for me right now. Just when I get the open shots, I'm knocking them down. Eric, I'll, I'll ask you about somebody else. There's the guy sitting there beside you, too, while he's talking about himself. But have you noticed anything different out of Q? Does he still prepare the same way? What's in your, in your vantage point, what's led to him to have so much success during this stretch? I mean, I, I would just say he, he's being more aggressive just because he sees his opportunities. You know, he's not, you know, he's not doing anything out of the ordinary. It's nothing different. You know, it just, I feel like the game has just opened up for him because we have so many scores on our team. We have so many threats. So now it's easier for him to, to do what he does best. Eric, last time y'all played South Carolina, they had a really big game inside with Coach Sar and Silva. Just how do you prepare for those guys facing them a second time this year? Uh, I would say just, just getting ready to um, prepare for a battle. You know, um, I feel like uh, we didn't prepare good enough for that or we wasn't ready mentally, you know, but now with the second go around, we, we already know the aspects and we know how the game is going to go from the jump. Any questions for the players? We'll get the microphone to you guys. Go back to Tyler. Eric, it's a tough question to ask, but in the time that you've lost your starting job and you've seen Reggie play well, yeah, how has it been for you to, to sort of try to keep your confidence high And because, I mean, this team will go as far as you can provide uh, production off the bench. So how has it been for you in trying to keep your confidence high and be the player that we've seen you be for four years here? Um, I would say it, it's been tough, you know, but um, I'm going to stay positive about it. And long we're winning games, that's, that's all I can ask for, you know, because this is a team, team game at the end of the day. Any other questions for the players? All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.